Hello everyone, welcome here in this video that I would like to start by hoping that or expressing the hope that all of you had a wonderful Christmas time and a splendid start of 2021. The reason I want, would like to have this little chat with you is because I would like to stand still for a moment with what we've done in 2020 the projects that are ongoing, where we are with those projects and how we are proceeding for 2021. And let's start by taking the overview that you probably all have watched uh, on Monday of the 115 videos that we've produced in 2020. Now, 2020 was a kind of special year in many regards. I don't think I need to go into detail uh, of what happened, but when I came with the idea of making this overview, it was only last week, I was working on that and I texted actually Alberto saying like, listen, probably I have to stop with this because I totally underestimated the amount of time that, that went into making this. Um, it's stupid because I could easily have figured this out beforehand that if I would want to screen capture 115 videos, um, let's say 20, 30 seconds, and later reduce all of them to 10, 15 seconds length, that would take some time. On top of that, presenting you with the links and the titles in the, in the comment section. So it was kind of, you know, backwards thinking now, it's stupid of me not to realize that it took so many time. But Alberto texted me back and said like, yeah, but, um, Maybe it's important, and I knew what he meant because I had the same feeling. We are making videos after video, recording after recording, and just taking some time to look at what we've done in 2020 was kind of important to both of us. Because 115 videos are, you have to imagine, and you all know that, but it's, it's good for us also to realize that where of these 115 videos were a lot full-size uh, sonatas. I mean, we've recorded the entire set of Beethoven sonatas. There's still only the Opus 49 number two, which is a sonatina actually, that needs to go online, but has been recorded. It's ready actually to be released. Normally you would have had it on, on uh, Monday, but we decided to replace that by uh, the overview of 2020. So full-size recordings. Uh, two full symphonies. We recorded actually also the so the, the fifth and the eighth were released online. We have also finished the fourth, the first, the second and the sixth. The fifth is going to be re-recorded uh, for technical reasons. It was digit. We had some digital problems when we recorded that symphony, but that's that's a detail. It's not even important. Um, and then the Wednesday videos were. I was going through them one by one and. It's not up to me to say that I was kind of, I wasn't really impressed, but I was wondering like where I, where did I find all the energy and time to present you that? Because many of those Wednesday videos, uh, I don't know if you've noticed that, not all of them, but the more, more, the more important ones, like the Merzen video, the 1808 concert, those were scripted. So I'm actually reading them from a teleprompter. Um, I scrape those because I don't want to let any element, any detail um, left out or that I'm messing up some facts that I only later discover. So I did really full research in the 1808 concert. I remember it was during the summertime that I prepared that, even went to my mother's because it was so, so terribly hot in that period and, and, and there was some air conditioning because I needed to focus. I wrote like... Two, two or three weeks on that script. And so I was, all these memories went through my head and I thought actually 2020 was a great year in this regard. We had a lot of energy, we, had, we spent a lot of time, we focused a lot of what we actually care about, which is producing the music, sharing this music in this year, Beethoven music, especially with you from the perspective of the WBMP, at the same time, making the case for that research in those videos. So we did both things together. And 
That came, of course, with a little price, which is in, in several ways. First of all, of course, did all of this cost it a lot of time and it was time well spent, certainly at the front end of every video production, which by which I mean every sonata that we practiced, we studied, making, uh, preparing it to make to be ready for the recording, bringing it on the highest level possible. And we're going to talk about that later because that project is not finished. Um, you will have a lot of re-recordings of sonatas that we just think have some other elements that we can imp implement before we are going to release it on CD. So we're going to experiment further with that. But anyways, prepare that on the highest level, um, both recordings and the Wednesday videos, and then also do the post-production. That's something, if you don't, if you're not familiar with video production, video production in terms of recordings is much more difficult than just making an audio recording because the video and the and and the audio of the recording itself needs to be synchronized. So you cannot just like in many classical music recordings, pieces are recorded like musicians play complete pieces or movements of even not they play it in, in bits and pieces and then it's put together because the audience demands such a perfection that uh, on the highest level, um, editing and audio is of course something that's that's normal. That's typical. That. There is no discussion about it, but when you do a video performance, that recording needs to be of a level that not so much post-production is needed anymore, because if you're going to do that, you increase the amount of time that's necessary to synchronize this, the several cameras that we have with those heavily edited audio. So um, we needed to bring the performances on a certain level that made the video production possible. And also for the Wednesday videos, um, Every time you have a layover of information, that's not coming there by itself. I need to screen capture it. I need to make it into the right format, uh, bring it into the program at the right time. And so uh, there are videos that, even videos that didn't perform that much, like for instance, the Schumann video or the breaking news Melzel um, can on the first one. That video was, I think, about 20 hours of post-production for me. That's all crazy stuff. So I had, when I made this overview, the impression like, Wim, you're kind of an idiot, but in a good way, perhaps. At least that's what I hope. So there is a time price to pay for that, which was, uh, again, done with so much pleasure and energy because knowing that you are there at the other side of the lens is an incredible thing to know. You are the best audience uh, we can dream about. And while the fighters are taking off again, they were silent for two weeks, so we have to give them some quality time, I guess. But anyways, um, the topics that we brought, of course, were and still are heavily debated, and we have to deal with that. But Overall, guys, that you are there, it's what drives us, it's what gives us the energy to continue. On the other hand, we focus, if, you, if you're longer at the channel here, then you know that at the beginning of the channel, I focused on the clavichord heavily. Then we went into some keyboard techniques on the clavichord, which is the perfect instrument to talk about. Basic keyboard techniques is the mother for all keyboard instruments. So the channel was heavily focused toward clavichord, and I know many of you are still there for the clavichord, and talk, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but slowly, certainly when I started to play Mozart and Beethoven, and certainly when the pianoforte was about to come, when the Frenzel came, and then the Fritz, um, there was no other solution for me than to make my case for what the, for the way I wanted to play that music. And people sometimes say, like, if you just play the Beethoven music like you want, that would be fine for people. I can tell you that's not. That's not happening in this world of classical music because the first question, so, and especially the people who say that, like, don't talk about it, just play as you want, and we, we are there to just to enjoy. It are those people who say, after the concert, why do you play so slow? Why are you playing not faster? Why don't you play like uh, Mr. X or Mrs. 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 Z? I mean, there is no escape. If you, if I wanted to play that music in that way, I had to make my case very hard. And so this became the project that you all are aware of. And last year, this culminated into Beethoven, piano, 
and into tempo research heavily. And it came also with a price in this sense that many of you were very patient with that, but I know many of you are waiting for the clavichord to be to come back to not abandon this type of research because we are not finished yet. Also about that in a second. But uh, the channel was heavily labeled as a channel that's only um, doing some tempo research. And sometimes it, 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 there were some hilarious moments, hilarious moments, but I understand some commenters there. Some people said like, a few times it happened, like, dude, all you do is talking about tempo. Why not actually showing the results? Those comments sometimes were made on Beethoven recordings, like full size recordings of full size sonatas. And there are people commented like, why do you not never demonstrate what you're talking about in a video that's demonstrating exactly that? But I get it because that's the label that the channel got. And I'm not angry for that. I'm not worried for that because in a way it's great to be there because that case for the WBMP will be made more this year and we are going even to go deeper than perhaps last year. Maybe not deeper, but we are going to build up on the work that we've done last year. So I hope these fighters are not taking off for the, internet, intern, uh, the uh, entire time that we're talking here. But anyways, what is this, what it is. So now we come to a moment here, first beginning of the year, ending of the year. I had some weeks off and spent with my family, with the kids, and so we had a wonderful time. But also I reflected upon where are we now and what needs to be done. And so part of the things that started to become, that I started to realize is that all the work that went into the videos that I made last year had also another price tag, which was they in fact, um, forced me to take less time for writing the book. Now, I've been talking about this tempo book a lot, and if you, uh, for those of you who are patrons, you know, in every insider update, beginning of the month, I talk about the book and where I am, so they know that I'm working continuously on that. It's a huge project. Um, just to give you an idea, I took this book here. Few of you will know that, I think. This ornamentation, improvisation, and molds, that doesn't matter, from Neumann, Neumann. Very important book. I think it's, again, in a reprint. But it's, I was looking at the, the space that we would need to publish it, and we are talking about a book of this size, at least. This would be only the text. Um, I was kind of, uh, I knew we were writing, Lorenz and I, pretty and extensive book, but I had no idea it would cover 300 pages in this format without the illustrations only. So you have an impression of the size of the work that we are doing. Part of the reason that it's such an extensive book is, how can I say it in, an, in a very, uh, you know, objective way? It's, we have to close all the back doors and normal, normally in, any science, even in musicology, sometimes when you have a problem, you can define a problem and you can just point to a solution or a possible solution or even part of a solution because you know that this idea is going to be taken further by colleagues. And, but that's not the case here with the, when we make the case for the WBMP because what happened with Lorenz's book at the beginning is that just people were looking for the potential weak spots and even if there were no weak spots they would make a weak spot in order to just take the entire work down and that's something that I'm not going to let happen with the new book so we have to take we have to close all the back doors we have to answer all the questions that are keeping popping up uh, on our channel um, and we have a Q&A uh, episode I think next week of the week after where I answer the first one where I, where I answer all the questions that you left and I will address a lot of them there. But the book needs to contain all of that information. We have to define the problem. That's also something that's unseen. Whenever people are 
in musicians or musicologists are among each other. I mean, in a way that they all agree that metronome numbers are great to have there as a kind of sign to play faster, but they don't really talk about the solution for them, then it's all fine to, to talk about metronome marks as something problematic. But from the moment that you present an alternative solution, then suddenly um, there is no problem at all anymore, or there are some weird solutions. So we have to also, in the book, present people with a kind of mirror, like there is a section saying, there is no escape, the problems are real. And that section now is, that's written by me, it's 150 pages in just plain A4 text without illustration. So can you imagine what the entire book will look like? And so we come to a point with all the projects, which is not only the book, but also the recordings, finalizing the sonatas for CD release, finalizing the symphonies, also recording some of them for CD release, finding a team for the Ninth Symphony. By the way, we have four solo singers we need to find, and that's maybe the easiest part, to have a little choir so that we can gather around the piano when COVID allows, I mean, hopefully later this year, to record the Ninth Symphony with singers and a little choir. All of those projects, but also that, project CD will be a CD project, will be launched on Spotify and what have you. That's not happening by itself. Also, I want to bring the clavichord back. I want to talk about keyboard technique again from the start, making fingerings. Now implementing everything that we have on the WBMP as a kind of standard position. I don't need to talk about it over and over again. You can go back to watch some older videos. So, but to learn you how to read the score, how to use notation as a tempo determinator, have some live streams perhaps where I have a whiteboard explanation to some pieces like a Beethoven sonata, a Mozart sonata, Beethoven symphony, and so go through this notation and, and, and make you see how that connects to our tempo research here. Or talk about some technical difficulties or fingerings, as I mentioned. Build that from the, from, from the basics, historical fingerings, not a subject on its own, but to learn you see how, when you implement those fingerings, how much easier you're going to practice the piece and how much easier you come to a musical result. So I want to not only make videos on that, I want also to build some courses, some online courses that you can uh, go through and so go in depth, even interact with me in a certain stand, in a certain setting. Uh, that we bring together 10 or 15 people for eight week training, intensive training on a certain subject, um, maybe fingering or just go through some pieces uh, that we have weekly uh, meetings, things like that. Also building the website around the project that we are doing. And there I would very much, as one of the center projects of this year, have a membership site where I, where you can go and you know where the information is there for you, even videos that we made on YouTube, but organized and that you, you, you have four or five lessons a month for a certain piece of music where we address the most important subject, like practicing it, making the fingering, and then practice it, understand it, uh, read the score from the notation standpoint. So uh, very standard questions that are answered in video lessons that make you play every month one piece together with, with the group and with me. So all of that, um, and I'm keeping an eye on the time, <laughs> I don't want to make this video too long, all of that comes of course with a realization, making this overview of 150 videos that makes me aware of like, I have to take a decision, like where is my time going? And so the decision I made for now and don't freak out <laughs> because it probably is just temporarily, I would like to bring down the number of videos that we have per week to just one. And that will be the Monday video. Uh, we will still have the premieres, maybe not for all the videos because also there, I mean, I want to be with you guys when the premieres are there. But you have to imagine also here, uh, we have a family life, so when the kids come, we just have had dinner, and then Anya says, Wim, it's premiere, you have to go. So I'm there with you, um, leaving her doing the homework with my kids, for instance, Sophie's of course old enough, but for the youngest, I mean, you know my point. It's just two times a week, but it's every, every week two times. And instead of just 
using that feature not to be there with you, I will use that feature of the Premiere in ways that I really can promise that I'm there. But I cannot promise that anymore for 115 times or 104 times, uh, if you would count every week two videos. So having said that, refocusing now on writing the book and on doing all the other stuff that I just mentioned gives also the opportunity to build from where we are. We, the channel had this clavichord moment. The channel had this focus on practicing, making fingerings. You remember the days of the inventions, Bach inventions or the Kramer etudes? Go on the channel. Those videos are buried very deep in YouTube's basement, but they're there. So I did a lot of live streams uh, together with you, going in detail over fingerings. But that, that, that foundation is there. I want to take that. The tempo research is there. We are going to make a lot of videos on tempo research. I can promise you that. There is even five or six videos waiting on historical durations that we need to address. And so nothing is going to disappear, but I want to take time to finish the project that I'm working on, bring everything on a higher level, and then slowly YouTube will be a reflection of what I'm doing and what Alberto is doing. And maybe other people that I'm talking to that potentially would like to contribute on this channel. That would be awesome, That because this is not a one-man show. As much as it seems to be, it's I'm, I really want to bring together musicians and also a team of people that eventually are going to build this together with me. And not only people who are going to talk and play, but also people who can work behind the scenes, because things like video editing, audio editing, things like that, at the end, in the future, we'll have to find people to do that because we cannot keep doing everything ourselves. So don't freak out, as I said. You will see more videos than just one a week. I just don't want to pin myself to a certain schedule right now. I think it's easy to understand why. But whenever I have something to say, that camera is just there, this microphone is just here. Just I press record and I will bring it. Um, I love this format too much not to do it. But that can mean that you have a video on Tuesday, on Friday, on Sunday, or maybe just two weeks just on Monday. So bear with me in this project and if really if you want the the platform to be in more direct contact with me and um, you've heard me saying that a number of times but it's it's true it's patreon um, emails from patrons the patrons know that are getting a response um, they're prioritized prioritized here we have a monthly hangout where i just talk two hours with you guys on Patreon. So if you want to have that direct contact and if, the, if the, the premieres and the chats are there for you and you kind of fear missing those, Patreon is the platform. We have all kind of tier levels, but even for $1 a month, you have access to the Hangout. So I want to, I have, I, I want to keep that platform as democratic i hate the word but you know what i mean as possible so guys this was a very um, actually not brief in time but brief update about uh, on the projects that we are doing and even the fact that it took me 25 minutes or so to talk to you about this means enough that we have a lot of on, on our plates plates the book is uh, needs to be prioritized by me right now we have a wonderful guy who's translating it. We hopefully also have someone to lay out the book, but after that, it's a project on its own to publish it. I want to have people uh, gathered around the project to help us review the book so that when it is launched, it's not just the word of me and Lorenz, and some people are working with us um, behind the scenes for now but that we have a team of people, credible people, that have been reviewing the book so that what, what you get is really the best we have can offer. And then it needs to be published, it needs to be promoted, this, these need to be published, it needs to come on the website. We have to sell those. I mean, that's the reality of life. Everything needs to be sustainable. That's for now what the patrons really, really, really are doing with this project. They are the foundation. And if you want to support, go on Patreon. I cannot tell you how important it is. Because at the end of the day, um, also here the bills need to be played and it's more than a full-time job. It's really more than a full-time job and I'm happy to do that. So, 
Um, let me know in the comments what you think and also what kind of format, what kind of videos, what kind of projects, what kind of courses, anything you can come up with that you would like me to uh, see making or producing, um, leave it in the comment sections. I will read that and I will make notes of that. So it's important for me to get that feedback from you. For now, I thank you for being here on this journey with me, with Alberto, with Anya, with everyone, with Lorenz, everybody who's working on this. It's super important. Without you, this all wouldn't be there. So looking forward to a great 2021 together with you. Thanks for watching and see you soon again. Bye.